Hey guys, this is Jay Stone, aka the brand mother. And as you know, I love to share tech tips with you that help you grow your brand. So FYI, this tutorial is regarding the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now this is currently my mobile device that I use. It is called a phablet. It's in the phablet family, which is phone slash tablet. Very high powered tool. I'm able to do a whole ton of stuff here. Um, I can 90% of the time leave the house without my laptop because of how powerful this device is. And of course, because apps are great now and a lot of the apps work really well on this platform. Now I have been rocking with the S Note, let me see, the Samsung Note series since the two. It's currently on version 10. This feature works on nine and 10. Um, but I have not, it is not available on eight, the Note 8 or lower. Now, again, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and 10 feature. Um, so I'm not, I don't know if it's a feature that's available on the S series or any of the other Samsung family phones. So that being said, the feature is a screen record and I think the screen the ability to record your screen is super great is super great because you can share apps you can show people how to use apps you can share things that are only visible on your phone I do want to warn you though you do want to make sure that there's no sensitive materials you know no you know colorful photos or you know Explicit text messages should be on your screens because it will record that information. So now let me show you how to do it. If you see this mouse, I'm actually using my stylus, these little, this little dot. That's what you want to follow through this tutorial to see where I'm going. So I'm actually pulling down the notifications bar. Oops. Pulling down the notifications bar. And... When I pull it down, you'll see this little divot right here. I want to grab that. Oops. Not select it. I want to grab it and drag it down. And I'm going to do that once more so you can see what happened. I'm going to drag it down. And this gives you all the feature icon shortcuts here that you see. And if you see, look right here to the little notif the little bu three bubbles at the bottom. If you look at the three bubbles at the bottom, that means you can slide this sucker to the right. OK, and as you can see, there are lots of um, features that have shortcuts. So the feature that we're going to be looking for is the screen recorder feature right here. But just keep in mind when something is blue, it's active. When it's gray, it's inactive. Um, and so this screen is gray and you see screen recorder right here. And if I select screen recorder, I get this option here and you can collect, select, um, you want to select the media sound and mic and then click start recording. Now, currently I cannot do that because I'm recording on another app and it's using the microphone, so I can't do it, but I will um, do a video that will actually show you what it looks like from in, rec in the recorder. I'm going to actually edit that onto this video. So before we move on to that, I do want to show you one more feature because sometimes you can't find these little shortcuts, okay? And you don't know where it is. It's like way over here and you might want to move it um, to someplace else. So mine was on the third screen. I wanted to move it to the front screen so I can have access to it quickly. So if you look at the three dots up here near this end, the three dots, I want to click the three dots and get more options. And I can do button order, which will allow me to drag these buttons where I hold down the select and drag them wherever I want them to be. Okay, and you can do that from any screen. If I want the S Pen Air Actions to be on a different screen, I just simply hold and drag over as far as I can. And then it moves and you see it right down here to the right. Now it's on my first page. The other thing is that some apps actually create these as well. And so if I wanted to use my Shazam and do and drag that down in here, I can do that as well. And it will be right here 
on this little shortcut menu. So I think that that's pretty neat. I click done. Um, another option is the quick panel layout where you can change the brightness, show media devices, blah, blah, blah. I don't fool with that too much. But um, the part of, again, button order. Click the three dots, click button order, slide things around, click done, and you are done. So that is a pretty cool feature for recording your screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Hey guys, I just realized in the next part of tutorial, I refer to these top buttons, the navigation buttons quite a bit, but they're actually not showing on the recorder screen. So I came back in and added this little section. As you can see, if you watch my little bubble here, oops, you can see up to the top right, you see this little blue button. That's um, if you click the pen button, it'll give you the blue and then it'll give you these color options at the top so that you can write on the screen. And then when you actually see me show up on the screen, you see me click this little people button. And then that's how you get the picture in picture on the screen. And of course, stop is how you stop the recording. But again, these don't show up in the next tutorial. All you see is me utilizing the features. But I wanted to give you a second to show you actually what it looks like. Thanks. Okay, so now I'm actually recording from inside the recorder feature on the Note 9. And if you look up here to the top right of my screen, you see a few features. You see this little pen divot that allows you to write on the screen, right? You can see that. I'm going to undo that. And then it has this little people icon here. And it allows you to see my face. Hi, guys. And the screen. And I think that this is a really cool uh, feature here that we can use to record, um, record on the screen. Um, so I had to select and deselect that to keep that from writing on the screen. Just figured that out now. Yay. Okay, and so this is, I think, great if you want to teach someone how to do something in an app or show something on your phone. I think it's a cool feature, and um, that's uh, it for now, and I'll catch you guys in a minute.